All right, guys, they're playing a Yone top lane today. We actually have Yone into a very interesting matchup today. Uh, recently, Varus top lane in high elo has been being played more than ever, and we actually get to play against it. So for the runes, we have Lethal Tempo, Triumph. We got Alacrity, Last and Second Wind, Overgrowth, and then also a Dorn Shield. Now, even though it's actually Varus, and we got the perfect pick into Varus, we actually still run second with Dishu combo, because... Uh, Varus is all about poking. I know exactly how this matchup works. I've ran into it way too often now. I don't know why it's so popular. I don't know why I've, I keep seeing it in high elo over and over. I used to play it myself a while ago. But either way, Yone is the perfect pick into it. We also have an Udi on the back of Varus at the moment. Nice. I might be able to bait him into it. So the early game is very simple. We pretty much rely on spamming Qs, hitting the third Q, just taking it very slowly. Um, once we have Preserver Squeeze, this matchup will entirely change. I'm gonna go for it. I'll pop in the potion too. I win this if I pop my potion out. Nice. All right. We have a fantastic start. As you can see, Varus top lane is absolutely ridiculous for several reasons. He does a lot of damage. You, you shouldn't underestimate Varus top lane. Well. This might be a kill. Yeah, thank you very much. I don't know if I'm actually getting away from this. Depends on if he has E. I don't think he does. Okay, I guess I'm lucky today. Seems like he's actually pushing the wave into me, which is a fantastic choice. Because, <laughs> like, that only benefits me even more. Uh, let's go into Berserker's Greaves. And let's go. So as you guys know, I have been recommending Yone top lane for a really long time now. And it continues to be like that. Honestly, I don't see a reason to not play Yone top lane. There is reasons why everyone in high elo is playing Yone top. There's big reasons for it. There's a lot of people who do. This champion can 1v9 very easily with a good early game. Well, we've got him in the corner. I'll cast it early so I can get out of it. Nice. I cast it early on purpose because otherwise it uh, knocks me out. I want the wave to push into me very slowly, but that's basically almost impossible to do. I think by the time he comes back. Uh, Wayfall starts still pushing into him. Maybe we're lucky enough. No, it's not. Sometimes to save someone, still hoping. You must fight them. Okay, this is actually acceptable. If he comes back now, I can all in him again because the wave is already in a very good position. Look at this. This is this is exactly what you want when you're winning. It's not pushing it to me anymore, which is unfortunate. But, um... We have the ability to all in him. Look. Good sidestepping from him. I'll E out very fast, because otherwise he hits the Q. Which I think... I don't think he did, but... I'll push this in. With the intention of getting item. I think if I get item, he's gonna have an even harder time against me. The next wave will arrive, so I'm a little bit slower with pushing. And we also need to be careful about jungle now. Nice. Okay, now we back off.
Just gonna give it a try. Oh, nice. He got the exhaust out. I am actually very happy with that. I would gladly trade an exhaust for ultimate anytime. Okay, I lost my charge. Yeah, let's go back here. I'll take the Eater of Growth Bow instant. And then I also want to go for a long sword. Quickly grab it too. If you're very lucky, this wave will actually arrive before this wave gets on our tower. If that's the case, it would actually make me win the lane even harder. Yes, it actually does. Amazing. Okay. Um, let's see if Varus is going to stay. If the wave like gets stuck like that and he decides to back off, he will actually lose the full wave, right? Because it will push into my direction. And it makes him lose a very large amount of XP. It makes me win very hard. So all I have to do is just not do anything. I can just freeze this out. If he shows, I will all in because I have more item advantage. And if he walks away, that's fine too. Because I will end up winning. He will end up losing everything. Yep, and he's back. He went for steel caps, which is a smart decision by him. Be all in again. Got him. So you saw like the little strategy over there. So I went for the all in. I took my full combo and I backed off with the intention of immediately using Q on the wave and then re-engaging. And there's a reason why I'm doing that because if you go for a fight and you proc the lethal tempo on your opponent. What you can do is immediately recharge your, your, your third Q and then you can come back and you can kill him. Because as long as that lethal tempo is procced, you're going to be hitting a lot more damage, right? So keep that in mind. Lethal tempo is what changes everything. Goodbye. Let's go for pickaxe. And let's go back. Very good. I am. Uh, I'm happy, man. I'm very happy with uh, where it's standing because right now, like Ferris is not able to freeze the wave. It's again pushing into my direction. Every time we beat him, it will continue to push in my direction. So again, we can freeze the wave. We can fully deny him everything now. And if he gets close, I'll just all in again. Like I'm gonna try to take very minimal damage. Seems like we have an Udi coming top. I don't think that he's gonna walk anywhere closer. Unfortunately, I would have wanted to freeze the wave, but that's not the case. My teammate does actually kill him, but at the cost of giving him a bounty. That's not very good. My uh, jungler was actually worth a lot of gold. And there you go. It will uh, push back in again. Now let's actually grab the plate for myself. Can we grab this part? Hmm. Goodbye. I am not interested in fighting Varus at the moment because as much as I'd like to, I do not know where Urgot is at the moment. Urgot can move top lane at any given moment and uh, fully beat me because I don't have anything available. So it's just not optimal. That's why I'm playing that very safe. And we'll just walk away. We'll grab all the items that we need. We come back full HP. And if we fight him again, we will win. I hope that my jungler lives. He previously died already, so he's not worth as much. It's kind of what I expected. Uh, both of my teammates, they're dying. It is what it is. My Varus actually has three kills now. Okay. Seems like my opponent is making a comeback in the game. It's 
Let's keep freezing it. He's going to come back with more items. I don't think I'm that worried because uh, Ferris is worth gold now and if I kill him I will just snowball the game even harder. So I am not too worried. An enemy has been slain. Uh, I will not take that chance. So apparently he's got the exhaust back. It was so, it was like too, way too good to be true there, honestly. It, it was way too much. The Ferris was walking straight into me. Hmm. An enemy has been slain. I am not happy to see how this Ferris is getting all kills for free and he's actually in the same, he's actually ahead of me now. Even worse. He's been farming my team. Again, I'm not too worried. I think next time I'll just have a chance. He doesn't have exhaust for the next two minutes. So we can keep that in mind. I hope that my teammates will calm down real quick. Let's grab next wave. I need to get that final plating down. Good trait. Got sustain, so doesn't really matter. Oh. You can't be serious, he's dead fat, right? <laughs> he took the worst trait imaginable, but he just killed me with one ultimate alone. I took zero tower damage. He, he did 2,000 damage like that. He's got so many bounties on my team that he's actually able to do this now. <laughs> An enemy has been slain. Wait a second. This I I can't do this like this, man. This this is actually very sad. I hope that my teammates will turn this around for me. But I guess we're gonna have to get into farming stage now. His exhaust will come back in less than a minute. Okay, let's try it out. It's not there. I feel like the uh, Urgot's gonna make it back. Very good. It's a big risk I was taking, but he didn't buy items. Yeah, let's. Haha, <laughs> I I felt that one. I knew it. I I felt like someone was coming top lane. I felt it because Ferris was playing aggressively, which doesn't make any sense. It just didn't. So that explains everything. I think that deer personally shouldn't be doing this. Hi, try oh dear. Hmm. You don't see that very often. Nice. Yeah, I think that Victor is not here anymore. Oh, so apparently he is, but probably baiting, that I would assume. Mm, he just gets away. Mm. 
At least we're getting the uh, we're getting the camp, we're getting the uh, the Urgot, so solid comeback again. Now we just gotta make sure we get that tower down. That's the most important thing. And I think that Varus will show. Yeah, definitely not going to go for more as there's other people also moving top lane. We have the Kraken Slayer now. That will change everything. If I all in the Varus right now and I hit my knockup, I can actually do a lot of damage before the ultimate applies. So if I'm fast enough, I don't think that Varus can do very much. It's very unlikely. Dragon spawns in like 12 seconds. So we're not going top lane yet. I think I might just grab another jungle camp. As I don't want to go mid. Let's take it too. I'm ready. There's no vision here. They don't know I'm here at the moment. I'm surprised at how much damage Varus can do. We got one guy. I think Dragon is gone anyways. Once the Jenna going. An enemy has been slain. This game is definitely more challenging than I expected ever. This guy should have never came back in the game uh, with all the free uh, kills that he just gotten. But uh, that changes now. Okay, it's time to back off. So now we're going to go into the BF Sword so that we can build into Infinity Edge. And after Infinity Edge, we will probably end up going into this item. Um, or we can go into Death Stance. Will he steal blue buff, I wonder? Yeah. Got him. You better not steal my blue buff. An ally has been slain. Where is that Varus? Oh, he's trying to fight me. He has ult advantage. I don't have that. I love how confident Varus is in, in fighting me at the moment. That just proves how strong he is. Two items. An ally has been slain. Definitely not going top lane into Varus until I have my ult. Ult will change everything. If it doesn't show it in top lane now, then... Yeah, 
Yeah, he got wrecked. Infinity Edge it is. Uh, let's go into Long Sword again. Dragon will spawn in 1 minute and 40. <laughs> the Vega got blocked from killing Zareth. Yeah, I've got my Infinity Edge, so my next combo is going to do even more damage. I'm already doing a lot of damage, but Infinity Edge just makes it like 10 times better. And again, like dra uh, Dragon spawns in uh, 1 minute and 12, that means that we do not want to go top lane. The The best way of playing it now would have either been to like set it up beforehand, or you just directly go mid lane into Dragon. That's like the best. Not from the jungle, just going mid lane. Take the wall, uh, take the wave, and then we go Drake after. I hope that uh, Udir will also move for it. Wait. Oh, never mind. I was trying to uh, third Q to the jungle camp. Seems like Udir is on the way. Cool. Barris is still top lane. This should be a winnable team fight. Hmm. Since like Varus has already made it back. So instead of like being in the team fight now and like grouping with my team together, I'm just gonna push another wave again. You see, now we have Barris in a very good position to where we can go for a fight, if you like. You can see, like, they cancel the wave too. Like, they're not even trying to farm it anymore. And I'm going to do the same thing on repeat. Hopefully, my team doesn't fall for a, f for a fight now. And it's doing the same thing again. So they're losing the farm. I actually managed to get it. Oh no. I think that Kale got the wrong intentions. I was just trying to go for a short trade. But whatever, it happens. Yeah, this was such a winnable team fight, I'm not gonna lie. Tough game on our hands right here. Let's go into a BF Sword. I highly believe in this game being very winnable soon because we're getting to the stage where our early game comp, right? Specifically referring to Kai'Sa and Kale. These are both champions that only function based off of like scaling, right? Early game, they're very weak champions, but when you get to like the point where, you know, Kale's gonna reach level 16, Kai'Sa's gonna get all the upgrades, the game will um, change a lot. These champions will eventually be champions, right? Kai'Sa is technically already a good champion at this stage now, but it needs still needs slightly more time to scale. That's a bad buff that should be available. Nice. Lots of fighting are on top lane. Very bad fights. There's no objective there. Shut down. 
Doesn't seem to be anything. We can't fight Baron. Let's see how much we can get. Yeah, we're getting stuff done at the very least. Actually getting several kills. Several kills right there. That's even bigger. Plus we got, uh, well, we didn't actually get the tower, never mind. Um, last item will definitely be a Guardian's Angel. Guardian's Angel is what's going to save me during those team fights because they will focus me down. If I have Guardian's Angel, I will live a lot longer. But the GA will also, you know, act as a way of uh, you know, scaring them off, so they don't actually focus me. I think I might get a catch here. Never mind. That Paris is gone at the moment. Wonder if Okay. That's a random ability. He didn't have actually vision. I cannot believe that's how I die. That's so weird. I just cannot see the ability. I just got CC'd without seeing the ability. That's actually a joke. <laughs> just CC'd without even seeing it. Now, that's what I love about the game sometimes. If an ability is thrown like that, either like I'm really blind and I just couldn't see it somehow, or like the game just doesn't show it. Dragon will spawn. And I need my teammates up there. It's actually the last dragon. My jungler is... Standing in the base in the worst time ever because the dragon, this is literally the last dragon. And he decides to not play now. Yeah, dragon's gone. Two people are bot lane. No vision. Let's try again. It. Two kills at the end, but not much we're getting from it. Hmm. Kale is going to be reaching the level 16 very soon. Yeah, look. He needs like one more wave or something like that. This is where things will change. Then the only thing that Kale will, uh, is missing is like Rabidance at that point. Like she can just 1v9 the entire game. Look at that damage. Ah, oh, too bad. 
<laughs> I wonder if Varus would have died if he kept autoing. There's probably not much I can change here. Oh, he actually gets to live. Funny. Cool. Got my uh, GA now. Okay. I have got a very important item. Uh, only thing is that my jungler is split pushing like a top laner since the last five minutes. I hope that he will change his mind. Let's go. Hytra is a very weird build, Onudir. Let's pick up the jungle camp again. I don't know. This guy is still actually splitting. What is he gonna do? Like you find him. There's a two level gap between Udir and Victor, and he thinks that he can one v one him. Bro, he chose for that. It's a two level gap. Level 18, first level 16. He surrenders the game in instantly after <laughs> losing the 1v1. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I love the instant, like, <laughs> he just recognizes that it's impossible. Instant surrender after. Victor's bot lane, this is actually fightable. Unfortunately, I didn't hit anything. I don't think that my teammates can protect me. No. Yeah, this game is so hard to play out. I just cannot get around to the fact that, like, um, you know, mistakes are obviously made in different ways, right? I was previously dominating Varus, and unfortunately, Udir was starting to feed him plenty of times in a row, enough so that even he gets a lead on me, right? But what I don't understand about Udir is that this guy is so tilted that he goes AFK in the fountain and then starts split pushing until the game ends. I don't get how someone can get so tilted afterwards. It's very surprising how one guy can tilt so hard and then destroy the whole game. Hmm. Yeah, hey, either way, this is uh, Yone Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.